is about to begin in a police state. There just doesn't seem to be any other way to say it. Violent group of terror take over the streets. a lofty message into just a 30-second commercial. They're here to support protest and prevent violence. Anybody that's planning to be out and wants to participate and wants to hear, you know, have their message be heard and exercise their right to free speech, we want them to know that we're committed to helping them. The ad might have been created specifically for the RNC, but they hope the message lasts long after the Republicans have left town. So let's uh, exercise our First Amendment rights. Let's have free speech. Let's protest. Let's do it the right way. Together for peace. I had to come out and take this opportunity to express my opinion about what's been going on in this country for eight years now. Uh -huh. And uh, this is one way of, of summarizing my opinion. All right, my name is Dolly Daly Balmy, and I and everyone here is part of the Missile D Chicks. We hail from Crawford, Texas. We moved there in 1999 when George and Laura moved there. We have ranches right next to theirs. And um, what can I say? We just want to make the empire rise and rise in corporate fashion. We love corporate fascism. That's our game. On a racist criminal war against our sisters and brothers in Iraq. We are the veterans. We are the veterans. Anti-war veterans. Anti-war veterans. How else can we make the powers that be listen to us? All we are doing is reinserting civil society's voice into the national public debate. Tell me what's going on right now. We're having a riot. We're having a riot. It's, a it's a pretty, riot. Yeah. it's a pretty violent, dramatic protest. I yeah. Uh huh. We're, yeah. We, we just came upon it and really felt the need to get violent out here on the grass. So what does a riot look like around here? Um, pretty quiet. A lot of standing. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people with digital cameras and cell phones. Lots of action. Some, yeah. Bikes. The police, uh, steadily started started uh, moving in towards the park. Okay. And, and we're filming, and CNN's filming, and, and you can see big media with, with their helmets and their gas masks behind the, behind the police lines. And, you know, everyone was, the concert's right across the river, you know, and everyone was just kind of hanging out, mellowing out. And uh, the police slowly started to move down the street and create a line. Other than just people being upset about not being able to get to work and not being able to get to the show, there was, there was no sort of protester uh, confronting uh, the police other than, you know, verbally. And, and so, but they slowly started to surround us. And I think everyone stayed calm up to a point because, you know, we knew that we hadn't done anything wrong. No one was really even holding signs. No one was really even demonstrating. We were all just hanging out. And then, uh, and then just basically out of nowhere, the police, the police tightened in and everyone's kind of getting nervous at this point. And they just, they get on the bullhorn and they say, ladies and gentlemen, you're all under arrest. seeing families and like you know kids with University of Minnesota shirts and like you know kids are bobbing their head to hip up like what are you kidding me and, and, and at that point no one really believed it 
you know, like, no, no, okay, yeah, we're under arrest. But then as they started slowly moving in, it became real clear that this was a mass arrest and that they were going to arrest people w without any, any probable cause, without any, witnessing any sort of crime other than hanging out in a park. <laughs> Um, we're in Mears Park, and this is where our rally began on September 2nd. The plan was to make sure that this march never happened, and if it happened, that it would be the lo lowest amount of numbers, and with that, the story would never be about poverty, hunger, and homelessness, or the collapsing banking system that we're dealing with now in this country, but that the focus would be on uh, protesters abstract of any kind of issues versus the police department and that's not what this whole thing is about at all and i don't give a damn if you're an anarchist if you're a democrat or if you're a republican or whatever your political ideas are all i know is i'm going to march today with people that have a similar vision of a different kind of world for us to live in We decided to plan a demonstration for Thursday, September 4th, because we we knew that there were a lot of protests planned um, for the first day of the convention as well as the second day, and we felt like the last day was also really important. And we wanted to have a demonstration that would send a strong anti-war message on the last day that could counter McCain's nomination speech. We knew that police repression was likely to be very intense. And when we applied for a permit to gather at the state capitol, part of the reason for doing that was just to try and ensure us a place to at least gather. Well, as, as soon as the band started playing, we watched as riot police started lining up on both of the streets that border the state capitol grounds. It was very clear to us that the police were trying to shut down our demonstration. Attention, attention, attention. Your parade permit will expire at 5 p.m. If you continue with your parade, you will be in violation of City Ordinance Chapter 366A, which requires a permitted event. Fuck that! Attention, attention. <laughs> 